All right, lion's mane, two hearts, no brain. What do I mean? <laughs> well, this is actually a really big topic and it's full of nooks and crannies that are extraordinary um, signposts for health and spiritual transformation, as it turns out. And um, we're gonna just touch on it here. And hopefully what I can share with you in this video is enough to inspire you to go find out more and most especially to um, consider getting lion's mane into your world. So this is one of the most revered and respected um, healing med uh, mushrooms, medicinal mushrooms, right? In India and China and Korea, Japan, this is a culinary food as well as a medicine. Uh, and we definitely include some recipes for you in the healing herb session that I created on it in Lion's Mane. But what I want you to know here, we've got food and we've got medicine, and this is revered. Um, so much so that there are even there's even a Buddhist sect that part of their garment, what they wear, is designed to resemble the lion's mane mushroom. Um, that's a big deal, right? You don't just casually go taking symbols like this. And so to understand this profound respect, we've got to go back and understand just a little bit about this two hearts and no brain saying um, that comes from traditional Chinese medicine. And the... Heart is the system in the body that is identified with, you know, fire and vitality and, of course, all the cardiovascular functioning. But it's also, so this whole, you know, pump of your life, right? But it's also identified with what's known as your shen, your consciousness, your awareness, your ability to think and, and, and uh, have creative thoughts and manifest. So this is where the saying, two hearts, no brain comes from because in the west we have this big deal about the brain the brain the brain in oriental medicine a strong heart means strong functionality right so the brain in oriental medicine is known as a curious organ and that's because organs in the oriental medicine are either yin or yang right they're holding and nourishing or they're moving things outwards your bladder it's moving stuff outward right the brain both stores and transports what's known as your essence, your jing. And this is this substance. It's not really a substance. Um, it's recognized by what it does. And what it does is it promotes your development, proper growth, birth, fertility, reproduction. But this includes bringing in your past, right? Your DNA, connection with your ancestors and moving into your future, your legacy, that's what the brain stores, this idea of where you come from and where you're going. Um, so it's a curious organ. Uh, lion's mane is a massively effective brain supporting healing medicinal mushroom. It has what's called NGF, right? Nerve growth factor, right? It contains compounds that literally help produce new healthy neurons, help, um, the functionality of your you know neurological system through your whole body not just in your brain but the whole system tips of your fingers you know to the most inner part of your brain helps function uh, cell uh, new production of cells right so for people with diabetes that are suffering from neuropathies right who've had too much long term high blood sugar content right that can start to create neuropathies this is the mushroom for you heart health, lung health, this comes in deeply. It's also very particularly identified with the spleen, stomach, this earth element, right? Which is the sweet flavor. And this is a profound matter because this is your nourishing, but this is another brain connection, right? The brain gut connection is now being recognized in the Western world as the gut possibly being the second brain in your body. So we have two hearts, no brain from oriental medicine side. And now from the Western side, we're thinking we got two brains and one heart. Um, either way you want to look at it, lion's mane is your go-to. Wonderful flavor, kind of a light seafood flavor. So it's delicious to cook with, but you can get it in powdered forms. Um, we go into a lot more about its healing potentiality because it does go right across the system. You know, the heart, the lung, the um, liver, um, spleen, your kidneys, right? It really comes in because it takes this nutritive capability 
feeds your system and then feeds your brain. Um, and the brain is also, of course, the gateway to um, um, your transcendental, your way to connect with the divine meditation practice. So the next time you want to go get some lion's mane, I highly recommend you bring a little intention to it because this is a mushroom that will feed not just your body, but let it be a fuel for you so that you can be transcending the physical, opening up spiritual doorways, connecting with the divine, so you can be living your purpose here on life fully and happily, right? Joy. That's a heart energy.